Hi everyone, I will do today a book review on the latest book I read, which is uh, this one. William Sutcliffe, Are You Experienced? Here it says he's the best selling author of New Boy. I have, I had have never heard of the guy. I bought this, this is a book about uh, young travelers, like an ironic take on first world young people traveling into third world countries in order to discover I don't know themselves or real life or whatever and in the end of course uh, failing to do so because they're just stupid <laughs> and uh, so I bought this this book in um, actually I bought it in India I was in India for work and uh, I found out there's quite a few very nice bookstores in India and the prices are good so but I bought a bunch of books and I saw these ones I started to just quickly glance on it and uh, was just laughing seeing people like uh, comments or descriptions of people that I have seen before and uh, yeah so I bought it, read it and I liked it it's not much, doesn't pretend much but it does deliver for sure so the book is like uh, 230 pages yeah something like that and uh, it's divided in very small chapters five six pages long each one each chapter is um, I wouldn't say a story in itself it's just something that happens you know, an occurrence on each on each one okay uh, it's basically a linear narrative nothing special to that very easy to read and so this is the story of uh, Dave he lives in England and he's afraid to travel so on his year off he has not uh, left home with his friends most of which have gone to Asia or you know, other exotic places to discover life or their inner selves or whatever it is they're looking for over there. and then he meets uh, a girl, Liz She's uh, the girlfriend of one of his friends, and she has stayed home because of some job she had. So he starts to fancy her, she starts to think about going away on a journey. Finally, she decides she wants to go to England, and because he wants to fuck her, he al agrees to go with her. So now they go into India, and now they're faced into this reality they have never seen. And they just couldn't be more different. You know, the the girl she's a very gullible girl, if that's the world like, like the world like she wants to believe in all of this spiritual and mystical and the magic uh, self discovery thing. And the guy on the other hand is uh, very down to earth, uh, rational and questioning guy. So they are both a bit uh, obnoxious in their different ways, you know. I, I, I would say I wouldn't stand any of them. Uh, let's say th there's this uh, moment in the story where they're in, uh, I think it's in Mumbai, they are, I don't know, or Delhi. They have gone to one hotel, which is featured in the Lonely Planet book, which they refer to as the book in here. Like it was the Bible, yeah. and there they met some other traveler, some uh, English traveler, who pretends to be very experienced. He has been there a few months, and uh, at some point, then it's discovered that he's there, living on his parents' money, which is really pathetic. And uh, well, anyway, they were, they go to a restaurant guided by this by this new friend because he says it's a local place and he has found about it because he has been there so long time, blah blah and so the girl Liz is very excited and feels yes this is the authentic experience and she's so happy with the guy showing her showing them this authentic real Indian place but Dave on the other hand starts to ask well like uh, how did he get to know this place so uh, the new friend replies that uh, because he has been around for so long time but it is a very local only place 
But Dave looks around and notices it's full of Western people. So he asks again, but how come it's full of Western people? And the other guy replies, oh yeah, because it's just word of mouth among experienced travelers. But it is a very local place. And then again, Dave comes back and says, but look at the menu. It's all translated to English. There's nothing in uh, Hindi or any other language. <laughs> so it's like... Uh, it's evident you know, that this place is not a local place. It's just another foreign tourist place. But uh, so you see my point. It's like she on one hand wants to believe. The other guy on the other hand does not want to believe. They're both making like conscious efforts in their own way to deal with this situation. So anyway, I'll... Uh, f- I don't say a lot, you know, but some stuff happens along the way and uh, Dave, the main character, has to face yeah, like uh, being alone, being with obnoxious people, uh, being with India, you know, of course, and all of its peculiar things. And uh, yeah, I won't tell you the end. It's not like a major twist at the end or anything, but uh, it is a fun read. I would uh, recommend it, especially for people that are planning to uh, travel to India, for people that have or are planning to travel in general somewhere on their year off and are pretending that they will discover something and are just planning to go along the Lonely Planet book and meet other Westerns along the road and just hang out with Westerns along the road. And then come back and pretend they saw something unique when actually they were just among Western people, which is very well stupid, I would say, but it's very real. That's 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 actually what happens. And uh, yeah, what I would also recommend if as a like I said, like as a second book, you know, if, if you're reading some other book and you want something lighter on the side just to You know, when you want to relax a bit and just have an easy read, you can check this one. I give it uh, a 4 out of 5, because I think at the end of the book, I would have been a bit more uh, hard on the characters. Uh, I think the author, at the end, like, just lets them be, lets them go without really making a final ironic twist onto their stupidity but uh, but still it's very i mean it does deliver what what it promises to do so yeah five out of four i think it's good so if you want take it all right, that's with that. And next one I'm planning to review is uh, this one, Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. So, yeah, that's for now. Bye.